just got done adding the rear view mirrors not bad I mean they're not like the best looking thing out there but they do the job I can paint them so that's good and I get my paint scheme I'll repaint them what I'm probably gonna do is unfortunately I've got a little bit of an oil leak happening in this area right there kind of bubbles out it's not like pouring out or anything so I'm gonna enjoy riding it uh, a few more times and then start taking it apart for the winter and uh, just take the whole engine apart take my time repainting everything so the frame will probably be black and then I want to do the tank and the fenders and then probably these mirrors in blue my favorite color and then I can't I probably don't have the money or uh, chrome those out or get chrome spokes so I'll probably just paint it silver if I can I'm not sure or I'll repolish that and I see if I can get spokes I don't know I'd hate to respoke all that too so, um, that's the plan make it all black and blue <laughs> and then uh, I've got these just got those in the mail along with a few other things here I'll show you shortly and gonna keep us busy for a while today we've got bam so I've got I'll just start up here uh, I want to get a horn on it it doesn't have a horn anymore it should stock uh, I might need a new switch so there's a new switch with everything um, tail light with a license plate bracket, um, ignition, and here's a wireless uh, relay, so I can use this uh, key fob there to turn the headlights and taillights and fun stuff off, or I might just use a main switch, uh, but I want one, I've got two of these, uh, they're obviously used to be in the front of a Jeep or an RV or something, like spot or fog lights, but... I'm going to use one uh, right up on the fender pointing down directly and then uh, I'm going to use the other facing outward. So hopefully, uh, you know, that covers uh, a lot of area in front. So if I can get like one mounted around here facing down and then one further up facing forward, I think that'll look good and do well. So, that's the plan. Got uh, turn signals coming, and then I've got a relay for those already. So, I'll have turn signals in the front and the back hanging out the sides. Um, just like it used to be, but with uh, LED. So, I didn't want to go and make everything stock, like 6-volt system that they had set up. So... Got a 12 volt motorcycle battery on, on there already that's going to uh, power all the lights. So. Alright, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. The bike has lights. Tail light. It's not flickering and real life here shows that flicker on camera and I went with two headlights so I want one pointing down and I mean the fact that they're not headlights they're like fog lights um, but yeah I definitely get them outside once this is charged I'll take another video of it outside and mirrors and lights on this thing man it looks completely different and I can definitely get away with uh, riding on the road with it a lot easier now <laughs> probably I mean considering I've gotten away with it completely so I've got a uh, carb coming and also a filter with the new carb, obviously, well, I ordered it with a filter, so 
air filter will be on and I'm gonna take this thing for a spin got some mail I love getting mail on a Sunday I got this carburetor replacement came with air filter and I don't think it's gonna fit so there's its total length I was hoping for a short filter I'm gonna have to order a different air filter now of course there's the old uh, key hen yeah. and that's where it needs to fit and it will not fit it's gonna hit the frame yeah definitely gonna hit the frame so. ah, a new pet cock Gonna get that on, uh, fuel filter, might as well use that too while we're at it. Here is the, oh, I thought it was outside. Uh, so here's like the contraption I had on here. So I'm gonna take that off, uh, just get rid of both of those. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that filter. Got a new fuel line, <clears throat> if needed. Uh, I've got this battery charging up. So it has been charging um, for eh, quite a while now. Hopefully we get a full charge. Got the switch right there underneath the seat I'm gonna mount. Got a working tail light, or at least like a running light uh, because it's not hooked up to the brake quite yet. Then I've got one of the lights installed on the fender. And then I made this bracket um, out of a piece of metal or steel I have here. So I've cut a hole in the center. I cut two holes so that it would like mount right here. Up underneath. So I've made this. But unfortunately, it still didn't work because it, it just isn't far enough out. So I'm going to have to make another little bracket extension to like make it come out a little bit um, I'll make it work it's actually fun making brackets out of like scratch um, like out of stuff like this I don't know it's kind of fun uh, lights and horns are going well so I just gotta find a place to mount the horn I am going to have to use this old switch, so hopefully it's all working right and I can get a diagram of everything. And I don't know if that used to be red or if that is pink. I, I don't know. Everything else has held its color pretty well, so I don't see... Like, the only diagrams I could find, uh, it didn't have pink. <laughs> so there's red and... The other colors but not pink so that'll have horn still got the turn signals high and low beam uh, which I won't necessarily have nice having the uh, mirrors there then um, last but not least I'm going to finally get all of this situated and rewired um, and then, where's it at? Um, I don't know where it's at. But, oh, yeah, in that bag. Um, <clears throat> then, I need to actually get this ignition key and everything working. So, let's put that there. And, yeah. So, tune in later. I should uh, hopefully have some working lights, a horn. And uh, key turning, uh, spark on and off, uh, new carburetor in there, all that fun stuff. Stay tuned. After a few failed attempts, I went ahead and just made my own bracket and got the lights installed. Got one on the fender facing uh, downward a little bit more, and then that one. The other one's facing a little bit more upward. 
This is the uh, bracket I've made. Nothing special, but just made that bottom piece and top piece. And, uh, I mean, it's not like welded together or anything. It's just kind of like a T bracket. Got a switch underneath here. And tail light on the back. It's got like this smoked out lens. And this is just Gorilla Tape. I do not want to drill into the frame quite yet. And I'll tell you what, that thing is on there really good. So, um, once I actually need to go get it inspected, maybe, or put a license plate on it, uh, I might change that up a little bit. But, and, and as you can see, plenty of wiring still left to do, but at least I've got all the wiring for that tucked away. Uh, my carburetor is not working out too well. So, even a, any mix between uh, using the new one in the air filter or the old one in the air filter, uh, it's too too long. So, I'm going to have to either cut it down and re-glue like glue it together or, or just order a new one, obviously. So, still got to put the horn on. Uh, yeah, the horn will be next. So, I can uh, start with just making sure that switch is working. Uh, beep the horn a few times and um, Let's see. I'll do a test and see how long these lights are lasting so I know how long the battery lasts So that I know how long I could uh, be out and about riding around at night Don't want it to just shut off and be in the dark. So All right more to come I'll also um, Order a petcock and, uh, yeah, of course, that just doesn't screw right on. So, where we got here? All right. So, as you can see, thread-wise, it's a similar thread. It's just, this is bigger. Flat-out bigger. Um, so, I, I should have paid more attention to that, obviously. I just thought, oh, wow, that cock on Amazon, that's got to fit. Nope. All right, got to play around with that some more too. Catch you later.